Okay, Lynn, in today's video, we're going to be doing 100 Runic Island runs. All of these runs were also done during the 2023 Easter event, which, yeah, I'm a little late in uploading this video because it ended almost two weeks ago. Which, yeah, doing the 100 runs itself took about 35 hours alone, and then editing everything together probably took another 12 hours. It was a very grindy process. But with that being said, let's just jump into it, Len. Jumping into it, Len, our first run was a little sketchy since my hat tricks fainted fairly early on, which made the final rooms battle a little too close for comfort. Although, it definitely paid off as the majority of the rooms happened to be extinct doodle encounters, so I ended up getting three misprints, one normal tints, and two Easter tints, so pretty good. This run seemed to be pretty lackluster for the first half, but then it was made up for by getting a Reliconus, an Easter tint Millicant, and then in the last room, I finally got a Fawnet runestone, which was actually the last runestone I didn't have yet from the run that I did before starting on this video. Run 3 was pretty cracked, not only did I get a navy blue tint Reliconus, in the very next room back to back was an Easter tint Jestful, which I didn't know at the time, but this is very freaking rare from what I've been told. Oh, and the final room happened to have another Fawnet runestone, but I decided to take the Easter bag instead since I already just got one. Although our next run was really underwhelming, our only good find was a misprint skin and that was it. Even the final room just had trash tint bottles. We ended up getting a Hattrick's runestone pretty early on through run 5, and then towards the end, we got an Easter tint with Laconis, which unfortunately was only 4 stars. The most interesting thing that happened during this run was just that an NPC had no head, so I think this would be a pretty good time to explain the team I'm using for all of these runs. Hattrix is the main doodle I'm going to be using as it hits very hard, especially with the hidden trait, and it has access to an insane amount of coverage moves. And if Hattrix happens to faint, I have Kronos, Zapora, and Koryu, as all three of them are super fast and they hit pretty hard as well. And then to wrap up the team, I brought Sumo and Klangatang as they're both very tanky and can also hit pretty hard, Although, I rarely use these unless the wrestler team end up painting. And in very rare cases, if I need to switch my active doodle out of the battle, these are my guys to take their place as nothing I've seen yet can straight up one shot them. Nothing too notable happened in run 7, but we did get another runestone in the final room, this time Cryo Terror. Run 8 went pretty well, we ended up getting 3 misprints being Ryode, Tazmarada and Kofuwu, and we also got an Easter Tint Skittis as well, which was 6 star 2. Although, I'm not sure how good it is without its hidden trait. Not gonna lie, when I entered this room, I thought it glitched because I didn't see a battle NPC or any items. But I'm just an idiot, I just completely forgot you could get extinct doodles with side modifiers, which this granny kunk was misprint tiny, so I just couldn't see it until I got close enough. Nothing really noteworthy happened during run 10. Although, this is our first flawless run where none of my doodles fainted. Hatrix just went to town on every NPC. We got another runestone at the end of run 11. Unfortunately though, it was for Cryo Terror, which means we got our first duplicate runestone. Had a pretty good run on run 12, got a misprint 6 star Grom, a Violet Tint Kafuwu, and a Reliconus. But best of all, we managed to get a big bag of Easter coins in the very last room. Ended up getting an Easter Tint Pronor early on in run 13, and towards the end of the run, we also managed to get a Jest Whirl. The worst thing happened on run 14, I've been dreading this moment since I started work on this video, an Easter Tint Maximut. And it took every ounce of willpower to not knock it out on the spot, but in the end, I did manage to catch it. Oh, and we also got a second Hatrix runestone. We got an Easter Tint Pronor during our 15th run, which yes, is our first Easter duplicate, and then in the very next room, we also got a misprint Grom. Run 16 was a breeze, however, it gave me one of the most difficult choices I had to make because it gave me the option to choose between two different runestones, Grotto and Morphra, which were both the only runestones I hadn't gotten yet for the video at least, so after thinking about it for a whole 5 seconds, I just went for Morphra. Oh, and we also got a misprint Maxima too. We got a Nuller Hattrix runestone during run 17, and we also passed 1000 Easter coins collected too. I finally managed to get my first rare Velodo, unfortunately it wasn't 6 star. And then in the last room, we also got yet a Nuller Cryo Terra runestone, taking our total up to 3. I made a mistake on run 19, I was on autopilot mode and I ended up knocking out a misprint Weecub, and I did I didn't even realize I did it until after the run when I went to my PC box. And then I almost did it again in the very next run. I can't stop my brain from going ooga booga look for green arrow. Although luckily I caught myself this time and I got a misprint Alpus. Quite a lot of encounters during this run, we managed to find a misprint Melicant and Maximut, a black tint Grom, and we also got a Reliconus. Unfortunately quite the opposite happened in run 22, just no rare extinct doodle whatsoever, although we somehow managed to get an easter coin reward in every 
single room. Run 23 ended up being the most difficult run I've attempted so far. I just ended up losing a lot of my party due to forgetting speed stats of doodles or by not having good switch-ins to earth-type doodles like Monolog. And once I made it to the final room, I only had Sumo left alive to actually take on the boss NPC. It was going really well. Sumo was destroying everything in his past, mostly due to having really good type matchups. And Sumo ended up KOing the first five doodles pretty easily. I was really confident that Sumo would just easily beat the last doodle, just like the first five, and then I'd complete the run. And then the last Lumius wished in, which of course was Monolog. Which, like I stated before, my team doesn't really do well against Earth-type doodles, and Monolog was unfortunately one of the worst matchups for my team. I basically just gave up. I couldn't see Sumo beating the Monolog, so I accepted my loss and threw off an attack instead of healing. Which the Monolog outsped me anyway, and went for a landslide, although it ended up missing while my body throw took the Monolog down to half health. Although, it turned out that the monologue had the strong armor trait, which boosts its defense, which means I just didn't have a secure 2-hit KO anymore. But after seeing that I had a chance to win, I decided to heal up Sumo in hopes that monologue will go for a different move, or miss again potentially. The monologue ended up using Landslide again, although this time it hit, and oh boy, it freaking hurts. I healed again, with monologue this time using Iron Chomp. I saw my chance to get a body throw off since I could live the next landslide, and then I got flinched, which I didn't even know landslide could do! So, back to heal spamming I went, with the monologue spamming landslide in response. And with only two duct tapes left to my name, the monologue finally missed another landslide. So, taking this chance to deal damage, the monologue went for an iron chomp while my body throw took the monologue down to red health. And at this point, I went for a swift hook. I wasn't sure if it would be enough to KO the monologue at this range with his plus two defense he had set up, but the last thing I would want to happen after getting this far was a landslide critical hitting me before I even got the chance to attack it again. And its health dropped to zero, finally knocking out the monologue and finishing the run. The run after that, we finally found a misprint Reliconus, so maybe our reward for beating the last run, although unfortunately it was only four star. Although the very next next run, we managed to get a misprint Jestwell that was also six star, which at the time we were recording, yeah, I didn't actually know Jestwell had a guaranteed chance to be 6 star, and then we also passed 2,000 overall Easter coins. No rare encounters during run 26, unfortunately. However, I did manage to get my hands on a Morpha runestone and a Hattrick runestone. Once again, didn't encounter any rare extinct doodles in run 27, but we did get another runestone, this time for Fornut. After what feels like forever, we finally got another Easter tin, but of course, it had to be for this monstrosity. And the very next run, we got yet another Another rare maximal encounter, this time misprint low, however, at least this time we did get a Hattrix runestone. I thought we only got two misprints during run 30, but it turned out we actually got three of them. Two of them were just Millicans that were both 6 star, had the same trait, and also had the exact same size of 100%. The only differences between them were the stat modifiers and their genders, which I don't really pay attention to when I catch stuff. And then the other misprint happened to be a Prana. Pretty decent finds for run 31, we got yet another misprint Millicant. Why do I keep getting them? But we also got a Jestwell, and we also got a Nuller Hattrix runestone. Ended up getting two more misprints during run 32, and we also got our first rare Skarm as well. We managed to get our first Tinted Afropex in run 33, and the last room gave me the option between two different runestones to choose from again. Which one of them was a Nuller Morpher, but the other one was the final runestone we've been missing, Grotto. So now I have collected at least one of every runestone available at the time of recording. And then Run 34 was absolutely correct. We ended up getting two misprints. The first one was a Riode and the other one was a Maxima. Then not too long after the misprint Maxima, I ended up getting an Easter Tint one. And then, towards the end of the run, we might have found a Reliconus. And then on top of all of that, we got a Morpha runestone at the very end. I got really excited in run 35. I thought I had finally found the Easter mount, although it just turned out to be an Easter coin bag, which I mean, 103 Easter coins isn't a bad thing. I just thought it was the rarer thing. Oh, and we also got another Jestwell and a Grotto runestone later on in the run. No rare doodle encounter this time. So in my moment of fury, I took my anger out on this tiny Maxima. Then I bullied this headless guy and stole his Morpha runestone. Stone. Run 37 went a little bit better, we ended up getting a misprint Kufuwu, 
another runestone, which this time was for 400, and we also passed 3,000 Easter coins. We got another Easter tin during run 38, which this time was a Skittis. And now that I mentioned that, I don't think we've gotten a misprint Easter tin yet, unfortunately. Run 39 was pretty stacked. We got two Easter tins, being Taz Journey and Scorm, which the Scorm was also hidden trait, although it was only three stars, so I'm never gonna use it. Then we ended up getting a Reliconus, and we also got a Cyan Tint Grom. Three runs in a row that had an Easter tin? I would say that's pretty good. And of course, our Easter tint streak ends. I just had to say something, didn't I? But in good news, we did get two misprint six star groms low. Never mind, I spoke too soon because we managed to get three Easter tints in just this one run. Which all three of them I didn't have already, although they all kind of sucked. Before I started working on this video, I had a few things that I wanted to accomplish. And on run 43, we finally got a misprint scorn, which means I now officially have at least one of every misprint extinct doodle, with us even getting a reliconus and on top of that, we also got Jestwell too. So the only misprint we're truly missing now is the Easter Cory one, but to be honest, I don't even want to try and think about how rare that would be. Nothing worth mentioning on run 44, like at all, no rare encounters, no cool items, just a lot of battling. We completed another task I want to accomplish in run 45. We got the Easter mount, which I won't lie looks a little weird, although that might just be because of my avatar. In run 46, I managed to collect a whole bunch of Easter coins, and because of that, we managed to pass 4,000 overall Easter coins. We got an Easter tin Cthulhu during run 47, and that was about it. Run 48 ended up being my fastest run by far, or at least for the runs we've done so far. I managed to beat the entire thing in 16 minutes exactly, and was awarded a hat-trick runestone for doing so. Yeah, 16 minutes might not sound that impressive, but while doing the runs, I'm also keeping track of all of the items I'm getting, and all of the extinct doodle encounters I'm getting too, while on top of that, also writing a loose script so I can do voiceovers like I'm doing right now. The last run might been our fastest run, but this run was by far our slowest run, which took me just barely under 30 minutes. Which was probably due to me not getting a lot of doodle encounters, and instead mostly getting battle NPCs. But either way, I still got a Cryoterra runestone at the end, so I'm happy. On to run 50, which originally was going to be our last run, and oh boy, it did not disappoint. We managed to get a misprint Afropex, followed up by an Easter Tint Velodo, then by another misprint, this time Weecub, which I would have been pretty happy with if it was just that, but then we got not just one runestone, but two of them. The first one being for Grotto in a rewards room, and the second second one being a Fortnite in the final room. But like I was saying, this was originally going to be the last run for the video since I wasn't sure if the Easter event would end on the 22nd of April or not. So I ended up speedrunning the last few runs since we didn't have a confirmed date for the end of the event. But Wish finally posted an announcement a couple hours ago that the Easter event would be ongoing until the 29th of April. So with that, I'm going to be doing 100 total runs and we just hit the halfway point, so let's get back to grinding. The update is out now and there are a few new things that were added. There's a new Awaken Doodle, which is more veil, and there's five new rooms, which two of them are normal rooms, one is a meme room, and the last two are boss rooms. Which during this run, we might have found one of the new normal rooms, which was just filled with items. We ended up getting the glitch room during run 52, which isn't one of the new rooms, it's just a pretty rare one. And unfortunately nothing spawns in here, doodles or items as of right now, but maybe one day? Maybe? Please wish? Now run 53 was insane. We managed to get a misprint Afropex, a misprint Maximut, an Easter Tint Scorm, and then we also got not one, not two, but three runestones. The first being for Hatrix, the second for Cryoterror, and the last one we found in the final boss room, which was for Morveil, the newest Awakened Doodle that was added. During run 54, we managed to find the new meme room, which has a big squid statue, and I ended up having to battle a guardian who has an entire team filled of misprint my eyes. However, I believe Squeds, Maximuts, and Rios can spawn here too, I'm not sure if there's anything else though. We got another Squed room in the very next run, it was a Guardian NPC again, and I gotta say that these are some of the most annoying NPCs to fight. I already said earlier that my team really doesn't appreciate Earth types, and this NPC has an entire team filled of them! And on top of that, they could have the durable trait, so I can't even O'Cole them either! Nothing much happened during run 56, I just ended the run with a misprint Millicant and a Grotto runestone. We got the second new normal room in run 57. The first one was just a new item room, whereas this one is a new guardian battle room. And instead of the usual two items you get to pick from, this room gives you the option between four of them. Run 50, it was pretty good. We managed to get two misprints, the first being a Wee Cub and the second being a Taz Jonah. Then we got a Jest Wool and a Navy Blue Cranigunk. And then to wrap up the run, the boss room gave us our second Morveil runestone. We managed to get our 10th misprint Maximo during run 59, which is our first extinct doodle to hit double digits 
digits for misprints. But really, why did it have to be Maximuts? And then on the very next run, we got another Maximut, this time Easterton, and we also managed to pass 5,000 overall Easter coins. We got a lot of doodle encounters during run 61, although none of them were anything too special. We got a misprint Prono and a Scientent Wee Cub. In run 62, we managed to get the all-powerful mythical Squid. Run 63 was a great run for Skitters encounters. We managed to get a navy blue tinted one, a misprint one, and we also got a scribbled one, which is the very first skin we've gotten in this video so far, and I didn't even know it was possible to get one. But it wasn't just a great run for Skitter Slow because every single room that offered items always had an Easter coin option. And then to top all of that, we beat our previous best time of 60 minutes because we beat this room in 30 minutes and 2 seconds, which Hattrix definitely played a huge part in because it just one shot everything that stood in my way. It finally happened during run 64 and I think it was inevitable since the new update because I wiped out the Moye Guardian because of my team's big weakness to earth. Because of that wipeout I decided it was about time I add an air type to my team. So I'm going to be switching out Kronos because I already have dark and electric coverage without it. Now for the air type that will replace it. I also wanted to build it earth type super effective which seems to leave Humbiscus and Cryoterra as my best options. While Humbiscus is the faster of the two, Cryoterra has the higher offensive stats and is also slightly bulkier. And because we're battling against PCs, Cryoterra should have way more than enough speed to outspeed everything that they could have, which seems to make it the clear choice. During Rung 66, we finally got one of the new boss rooms, which appears to be a rundown version of a Pokemon Center from Project Pokemon. And I might be wrong about this, so correct me if I am wrong, but I'm pretty sure that the only area that had a center like this one was Elegant Valor. We got our first Easter Tint Riod in Run 67, which is about time, so now the only extinct Easter Tints I'm missing is Altusk and Griblo. Another miss Print Jest Wall during Run 68, which is cool, but we're still looking for the Easter Koryu. Heh, <laughs> funny number. And this also happens to be the perfect run for us to get a misprint squid from the meme room, although I'm not gonna catch it or keep track of these because they're squids. Run 70 went pretty well, we got a purple tinted Maxima in the very first room, and we got our second skin, this time for a Cranny Gunk. And we were also forced into picking up my first capsule, which I've been trying to avoid during every run that we've done so far. They are just a bad item for rewards, but after beating this room's guardian, the rewards were a striped capsule and another striped capsule. I really hope that in the future some of these trash rewards get replaced, and for the capsules, Wish made a new runic capsule that works better on extinct doodles, which would be a perfect fit to find during runs instead of normal capsules. I know I said I wasn't going to catch and keep track of any squids because they're squids, but during run 71 we might have find an easter tinted one and then we also got the pp boss room again although this time it only gave me the option between four tint bottles nothing much happened during run 72 although we did hit 6,000 overall easter coins the next room however was so much better we ended up getting two tinted doodles one being a navy blue velodo and the other being a lime exoskeles which were also in back-to-back -back rooms and then we ended up getting the pp boss room again that gave us a fauna rune stone during run 74 we caught our 10th misprint Grom, which is now our second extinct doodle to hit double digits for misprints in total. Then we also got a Reliconus and another misprint Maximut. No rare encounters, no rune stones, but at least we got a lot of Easter coins during run 75. Even more Easter coins next run, although this time we actually did get some rare encounters. We got a misprint as Marauder and a Cranigunk. We got a couple of Easter finds during run 77, we got an Easter tint Cranigunk, and then we got another Jest Whirl. During run 78, we got some more Maximuts, of course. The first was an Easter tint, and the second was a misprint. We also got another Jest Whirl, and then to end off the run, we got our third Morveil runestone. Only ended up getting a misprint Melican in run 79. I thought we were going to get a runestone because I saw a gold podium in the boss room, although I got baited because it turned out to be an Easter bag, which, you know, isn't a bad thing to get, I just thought it was something else. I'm surprised it took us this long, but after 80 entire runs, we finally got our first Mist Tint Doodle. It happened to be a Taz Marauder, although unfortunately it was only 4 stars, so I'll probably never use it. And in the very next run, we managed to find an Easter Tint Millicent that was also a hidden trait, but once again, it wasn't a 6 star, so the chances that I use it are 0%. Nothing too amazing during run 82, just came out of it with a Grotto Runestone, and that's about it. Got another Grotto Runestone in run 83, and we also got the PP boss room again. We managed to get an Easter tint Dodo Tor that was tiny during run 84, and we also passed 7,000 overall Easter coins too. But dang, the last few runs have just been pretty disappointing. During this run, we got a misprint Tasmerauder 
And that was it. I'm just pretty unlucky right now, I guess. Run 86 was a bit better. We got a misprint exoskeleton and an easter tint millicants. Then once we reached the boss room, it offered us two different runestone rewards, Fawnut and Hatrix, which I took the Hatrix one. Although in the very next run, we got a Fawnut runestone in a normal guardian room anyway. And then we got another runestone from the same run's boss room, which was for Morveil this time. Yet another Fawnut runestone in the very next run, although it didn't end just there because we got not just one, but two Morpha runestones and we got these ones in back-to-back -back rooms. And then on top of that, we got another mist tint, which was Tazmarauder again, and it ended up being a lime tin, which to be fair, to say it is a green tint, it actually doesn't look that bad, now it actually has glow in the dark bones. Nothing super interesting happened during run 89, so instead I'm going to use this time to talk about the meme room again. Yeah, at first I thought it was pretty funny, but after doing so many runs where they show up, I gotta say, they're just really annoying now. Because if you get the Guardian NPC, you have to battle against an entire party that are fairly bulky so there's a chance that you don't one shot them, although even if you could, all of the Moyes could have the durable trait anywhere. So these rooms just end up being really tedious, they take a lot more time to beat compared to a different room, while also sucking away at your PP, which definitely came out wrong, but you get my points. And then after all of that and you might actually beat it, there's still a chance you get another one in the same run, like I did here. So yeah, I'm kind of over the meme room, however I will say it does add some difficulty to the runic islands that I think is needed but this is just a cheap way to do it. But hey, Run 90 makes up for that by giving us a jest whirl. A lot of encounters during Run 91, but the only noteworthy one was a misprint Maxima. Like, really? Run 92 was definitely better. We got a misprint Dodo Tower, and we got another Easter Tint Grom. We finally got our first Easter Tinted Altus during Run 93, so now the only Easter Tint Extinct Doodle we're missing is Griblo. Oh, and we also got a misprint Velodo, a purple tinted Afropex, and a Jestwell in the Run 2. Run 94 let me get my revenge on the meme room. It spawned in a tiny squid, which I proceeded to obviously bullet. And my hard work was rewarded because the very next room was the PP boss room that offered me two different runestones. I'm not sure what doodle the second runestone was for because the first one was for a Morville, so I took it right away without checking the other one since, you know, it's the newest one. We ended up getting two tinted doodles during run 95, although I didn't know they were tinted until I started the encounters. Because the first one was a sky blue tint Grom, which Grom's normal colour is blue, and the second one was a yellow tint Maxima, which again, Maxima's normal colour is mostly yellow too. So from a distance, I thought they were just normal encounters, but hey, I ain't gonna complain about them. The only rare encounter we got in run 96 was a misprint Afropex, but at least we got to bully two squids, which I think Molin makes up for it. Pretty decent run for run 97, we got a misprint Weecub, we passed 8,000 overall easter coins, and we got a Morpha runestone. Not an amazing run, but at least not a trash one either. Run 98 was yet again pretty lackluster, didn't get that many encounters this time, the only rare thing we got was an easter tint Maxima, of course but at least we got a good amount of easter coins. In our penultimate run, we managed to get a misprint prono, and we got to bully another squid, and that was it. But before we move on to our final run, in case you weren't keeping track, there are a few things we've still yet to get. We've managed to see every room but one of the new boss rooms, which I think is just a rarer alternate reliconist room. There's only one easter tint left that I haven't gotten yet, which is Griblo. And we also haven't gotten an Easter Koryu, so hopefully we can get at least one of these in Run 100. Jumping into Run 100 then, our very first room had a meme skin Maxima, which could either be foreshadowing good or bad luck, because on one hand, the skin is sweet, but on the other hand, it's a Maxima. And here's me beating the boss and completing the final run. I'm kidding, we also got a green tint Maxima too. Okay, I'm joking, I'm joking again. We also got a misprint Kranigunk, but I accidentally knocked it out, which I am going to blame on being sleep deprived. Now let's go over the finds and goodies. I think it makes the most sense to go over how many Easter tokens we got first, which I also just realized I've been calling them Easter coins this entire time. But after all 100 runs, we got a grand total of 8300 Easter tokens, which was way more than enough to buy one of every Easter skin that was being sold. That ended up leaving me with 2224 Easter tokens as leftovers, so I bought an extra Exiled, Pandisha, Jester, and Aploth. Next, let's go over the doodles. These are all of the doodles that I caught from the 100 drones in the order that I found them in, but let's go over the specifics because like I said earlier, I kept track of literally everything. The rarest thing we could have gotten was an Easter Koryu, but unfortunately we didn't get any of them. But for the other Easter Legendary, or at least that's what I think Jestwell is meant to be, we managed to get 7 normal Jestwells, 
two misprint jest worlds and one easter tinted jest whirl. And then for the Olo legendary Reliconus, which isn't tied into the easter event, we got 10 normal Reliconuses, one misprint Reliconus, one normal tint Reliconus, and one easter tinted Reliconus. And with all of the rarer doodles out of the way, let's go over the normal extinct doodles now. We might as well go in alphabetical order, so Alp Tusk and Mamolton are up next, and yes, I did just realise I've been calling Alp Tusk Owl Tusk this entire time, but I managed to get 14 normal ones, one misprint one, and one easter tinted one. Which is unfortunate because Alp Tusk is one of my favourite extinct doodles and it happened to be the one that we got the least encounters for. Pranigunk and Melikant are up next, we got 70 normal ones, 9 misprint ones, 3 easter tinted ones, and we also got 2 reskins too. Which is kind of funny because before starting this video, Pranigunk was the last extinct doodle that I managed to find to complete the decks, but now it's actually one of the more common encounters I've had. Kafuwu, Perlulu, and Kololos are next, which by the way, try saying that 10 times fast, it took me forever to get that right. But we ended up getting 44 normal ones, 2 misprint ones, 1 normal tinted one, and 2 easter tinted ones. Another favourite extinct doodle of mine, a shame we didn't get more misprints, also I might have gotten their names wrong, but let's just act like I got them right. Dodotor and Velodo are next, which I gotta say is my actual favourite extinct doodle, I just love a good dodo. But we ended up getting 29 normal ones, 3 misprint ones, Ones, one normal tinted one and three easter tinted ones. Grom and Gromantle have grown on me a little after finding out that the final evolution has a special form. Before I knew that, I wasn't that big of a fan of it. But we got 46 normal ones, 11 misprint ones, three normal tinted ones and two easter tinted ones. Grey Blue and Avropex are next, which we got 30 normal ones, four misprint ones and two normal tinted ones. And yup, that's right, this was the only extinct doodle that we didn't get an easter tint for, but not to worry because I ended up doing a roulette video trying to get as many easter tints as possible and we ended up getting an easter tinted griblo from it. Maxima and Desdog are next, I still think they're absolute monstrosities but we got 84 normal ones, 16 misprint ones, 4 normal tinted ones, 7 easter tinted ones and we also got one reskin too. For Pronor and Goronor, we got 46 normal ones, 5 misprint ones, and 2 easter tinted ones. Riode and Rhino Stone are next, we ended up getting 33 normal ones, 4 misprint ones, 1 normal tinted one, and 1 easter tinted one. Skittis and Exoskeles are next, which I think the final evolution is really cool, but I thought it would be really bad compared to the other extinct bug, but it turns out it's actually pretty good from what I've heard. And we ended up getting 60 normal ones, 6 misprint ones, 2 normal tinted ones, two easter tinted ones, and finally, one reskin too. The newest extinct doodle is next, Skormandulect, which we ended up getting 37 normal ones, two misprint ones, one normal tinted one, and lastly, two easter tinted ones. The Tazas are next, Tazjone and Tazmaroda, which we got 60 normal ones, seven misprint ones, one normal tinted one, two easter tinted ones, and finally, we got two mist-tinted ones, which happened to be the only extinct doodle we got a mist-tint for. And finally, moving on to the last doodle, Weecub, Empire, and Emperor of Flame, which I don't think is technically an extinct doodle, but you can only find it in Runic Island as of right now, so we're including it. We got 47 normal ones, 3 misprint ones, three normal tinted ones, and finally, one easter tinted one. Now let's go over all of the items we managed to find, but because there are so many items that you can receive as rewards, I'm only going to mention the more important, rarer ones. And then the rest I'll pop on screen for you to see for yourself, but there are just way too many to go over all of them, without it taking at least 10 minutes. So for the most seeked out items, starting with the Awakens, we got 6 Crowtower runes, 7 Grotto runes, 13 Hatrix runes, 11 Morpho runes, 5 more Veil runes, and 11 Fornit runes. And then I think most people would be interested in how many runic vouchers and tint bottles we got, which we got 10 runic vouchers and 68 tint bottles. But for the rest of the items, which I have to split into multiple different screenshots because there are just literally that many items, but here are the general items, which shows the capsules, healing items, level up cubes, and evolution items. And moving on to the held items line, which I would say is pretty self-explanatory, this will show you all of the items that doodles can hold for PvP. And finally, the equipment items, which you can give to your doodles to raise or lower their stats. And with that being said, I'm going to leave the video off here. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to smash that like button and let me know in the comments down below if you want to see more videos like this. And also, if you haven't subscribed, why not? Might as well while you're down there. But with that being said, I'll see you guys next time.